Hi Taurus, welcome to your June 2019 monthly readings. Uh, so this is your no show and grow reading. Uh, the first three cards I pull out are affirmation cards. You might want to say that to yourself in the morning or at nighttime in the mirror uh, before you go to bed. And then the rest are tarot uh, cards. You had quite a bit, a significant, significant amount that came out. <laughs> so uh, those extra cards are off to the side. We'll see. Um, when I get into it, uh, what comes through, all right? And I think you guys will be the last one for today. Uh, today is June 5th. Yeah, June 5th. Um, I'll try to get the rest done uh, by, I think there's only three signs left to do by the end of this week, so by Sunday. Uh, I just feel a little drained today. Uh, so um, I, I do things by uh, how I feel. Where if I feel a little drained, that means I need some me time to recharge my battery. Uh, I got some gardening that I got to do. Uh, that usually makes me feel quite peaceful. Um, and uh, I have some um, paperwork, I guess you could say, that I have to do as well. So I got to get that done. Uh, so I try to do a little bit of everything in one day. A little rest time, a little productive time, <laughs> a little bit of hobby time. Uh just to keep it overall balanced. Uh, that also makes it easier for me when I do these readings because it is it is about energy, right? So you got to be in the right frame of mind uh, to do these um, readings, at least for me, right? That's how I operate. Uh, so at least that way I'm more productive. Um, so your first card is I am resourceful. Your second card is I am humble. Your third card is I Am Beautiful. And when that one popped out, I was hearing um, that Christina Aguilera song. Uh, I'm not sure why. <laughs> Haven't heard that in years. Um, your tarot cards you got are, you got Conflict, the Page of Swords. And when I touched that, I got a little lightheaded, which is weird. Like, uh... So... You may have a lot going on, um, and you may be all, all up in your head too. Who? There's a few other signs uh, that got that too. They're like I'm not sure why. You have the next card you got is the Hermit. So for you guys, the best advice I would give you is if you need personal time, you need personal time. You got to give that to yourself. You got to get clarity. You 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 got to look inwards. Uh, your wants, your needs. All right, and then you might need to separate your wants and your needs. Um, wants are not necessary. Your needs are right. You need to eat. Uh, you need to sleep. You need to rest. Right. You want to go out. You want to have fun. Um, but what you need is completely separate. So you need to quiet your mind to focus on your needs. Okay. Uh, the next card you got is the Queen of Pentacles. It says flowering on it. Okay. Then you got the Queen of Swords. It says intelligence. You have the Four of Pentacles. Not a great uh, card. It says misery on it. All right. Then you got the Knight of Wands. Okay. Then you have the Ten of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. Everybody's been getting this card, you guys. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. The Six of Wands. The Six of Swords. You got two sixes back to back. Uh, the Five of Cups. The Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups. If you see this card here, there's uh, music. Okay. Uh, little notes. Can you see it? Me there. Uh, whenever I see this card, I always get ACDC with this card. <laughs> and two specific songs. I get uh, Thunderstruck because these little bolts here, I'm not sure why. Uh, and I also get um, uh, Back in Black. I'm not sure. Uh, however, with these tunes, 
Uh, somebody else had this song that came in too. Uh, it's um, Swedish House Mafia, Don't You Worry Child. I'm not sure why, but that, that song uh, is coming through. Rare. So those are your extra cards, and I'll kind of try to tie it into here if I uh, feel it, right? Rare. So what you need to know is I am resourceful. You got uh, the Page of Swords, and then you got the Queen of Swords. Okay, so I am resourceful means that you are, um, and you got humble too. So that means like you don't, you're not buying specific items uh, at a grocery store or a hardware store or something like that. You're being resourceful. So you're going to the dollar store, right? Like doesn't bother you. Okay, you're humble, right? Like you work hard for your money. So you're, you're not going to use it um, unwisely, right? Um, you have the page of swords here. Uh, the page of swords, the swords characters have bad reps. Okay. They're quite intelligent. Uh, they're highly intellectual. They're thinkers, right? Um, they are quick movers. They're the fastest movers, I would say. Um, with the page of swords, it could be, okay. Page of swords usually is a spy card. It's like, so if you're having some issues, it's because you're too focused on, um, um, exterior, uh, so, like, other people, other, um, what they have, or, um, the opinions of others, or you're listening to what they say, or, um, that's causing conflict for you, you need to be very self-focused here, it's about you, right, because there's illusions, a lot of people have illusions around you, you know, like, if you're looking on Facebook, and people are posting a lot on Facebook, right? Of like their food items or the hotel that they're at. Okay. These are people that are not very happy and they get affirmation and confirmation from outside sources. So they're not happy within, right? Their, their, their validation is coming from the exterior realm, exterior realm and not the interior. Okay. The interior is you yourself as an individual. Uh, on Facebook, if you have, um, a lot of people on there and you see a lot of people that post selfies, right? Those people, uh, are looking for attention, okay, not respect, all right, that, that like, it's childish behavior, uh, usually it stems from childhood, the lack of attention from a parent, uh, so they, they constantly post, um, uh, selfies because they're looking for attention, validation, uh, and then you have people that have, like, scenic pictures or, you know, pictures of artwork, things like that, uh, those people are usually the people that are very, uh, self-assured, reassured, uh, they have confidence. They're not looking for confidence from the exterior realms. They're quite comfortable with who they are uh, and where they're at in their life, right? There's that thing, if you got it, flaunt it, all right? And and if you study psychology and stuff like that, it's actually reversed from that. If you got something, you have no need to flaunt it, right? Because you're confident. You also don't want uh, to be attracting uh, negativity towards you, right? So the Queen of Swords... Here, uh, it's what you need to know. It's, it says intelligence on it. Okay, she's highly intellectual. She's quite witty. She is funny. Uh, when it comes to love, I call these people the movie romance. <laughs> because they go by what they see in movies. So they're the ones that will wine and dine you. Uh, they will fly you out. Um, they try what they see, right? Like, they're also the ones, if this is your partner, you have this partner. Uh, when you're sitting on the couch watching a movie with them, uh, and it's a romantic comedy and, you know, somebody does something in the movie, they, they're the ones that will sigh and then kind of look at their partner like, huh, why don't you do that, right? But they will end up doing it. Or if they think it, they'll try it. Or, uh. So what you need to know is that um, you are resourceful, okay? The queen, the queen of swords is intelligent, so she knows the difference between what people say and what people do. She's not paying attention to what you say. People can be really good talker, talkers. They can ma manipulate and cause conflict by what they say, all right? And with the knight of wands here, you're paying attention to what people do, so you can't be fooled, all right? And it can, it could be like somebody's a good talker, and I've been saying this in quite a few readings. I say this a lot. Over the years, I've been doing this, I think five years now, because um, it can go two ways. Some people are good talkers in the sense 
that they're, they talk themselves up like, oh, I'm a really good person, but their actions prove otherwise. They're like, oh, I'm helpful, but their actions prove otherwise. They don't help, like say at work, right? We all know somebody like that. But when um, people are struggling, that person who says that I'm helpful doesn't actually do it. But in the flip side, because it can also go on a flip side, right? Where you could have somebody uh, that states that they're, um, they put that hard shell on that they're, they're, uh, they, they say things like they don't care or um, it doesn't bother them or, you know, like uh, that they're not going to help people. They put this hard shell on, but their actions prove otherwise on the inside. They're a big softy, right? Like they'll, they'll go, they'll be the first ones over to somebody that's struggling at work and help them. Right. However, they, they see that they're not that type of person by watching the actions. You can see that because some people have been hurt through life, right? So they put that persona on so that, um, People get scared of them or um, it warns them off, right? So that way it's a protection mechanism that they're doing. But if you watch their actions, you can see that these are really good people, all right? Like these are people that will actually help you, okay? So pay attention to actions, okay? Like use your mind. You have to use both your mind and your heart though. I don't recommend using one over the other because they, they will both lead you astray. Your heart can make you do some pretty stupid things, but your mind can also make you do some pretty stupid things. Your mind can block you right? Your heart can lead you a fool, you know, like if you, we've all been there and done that, right? But if you use both of them, you're grounded. You're making, you're seeing things from both perspectives and you're able to see a lot more errors that may occur, right? But you're also um, able to see a lot more solutions than you would with using one or the other, okay? Because your mind uh, can place fear, all right? And fear is an illusion, okay? It's there to trap you. So you want, you want to um, she's a woman who understands, uh, she could be a lawyer. Usually the, the swords characters, they're in a uniform of some sort. It doesn't have to be just like a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, a dentist. Um, they, they, they could be, uh, mechanics. They could be bakers. Bakers wear uniforms. You know, I bake, uh, that's what I do. Um, I got a lot of Aquarius in my chart, however, so, uh, you know, Aquarius is a little more unorthodox, so, so they wouldn't really do good in military, you know what I mean? I did once consider going to the military with an Aries. It was an Aries buddy of mine, and we both worked uh, uh, in the trades. Uh, I used to be a baker, and then I went into the trades, and then now I'm full circle, and I went back to baking. Um, but we both got laid off because in the steel industry, there's specific months that uh, it's slow season, they call, right? Uh, so a bunch of us were laid off because it was slow season. There was no work for us. Um, and we both considered going into the military. Uh, and he ended up going, uh, but I got called back to the job because it's um, union. It was seniority based. So they had to bring me back first. Um, and he went to the military. I, pro I wouldn't have done well in it. <laughs> With the, the amount of Aquarius and Scorpio and Sag I have in my chart, uh, would not have gone over well. Where tell me what to do. <laughs> I think mainly because I'd have to wake up early in the morning. I'm not a morning pers person, people. Uh, but because I do have that Aquarius in my chart, uh, again, strong air energy. They don't have to be a sun sign, right? They don't even have to have like. Um, uh, like for me, I have an Aquarius, Mars and Venus, right? So that can make me, uh, come up as an air sign. However, people that don't have a planet placement, uh, or a sign, uh, like a Mars or a Venus, but they're, they're say they're a Mars, Venus, Leo, but it sits in Aquarius. They can also bring this, all right? Or it sits in Gemini or it sits in Libra. They can take on these energies. It's their house, right? Like, so it, it would have influence on them. Uh, for me, though, being in a, uh, with that strong Aquarius, the uniform would come in like I'm a baker. So bakers wear uniforms, right? And already, I did sheet metal for years. Also a uniform. It's not a typical uniform like a doctor or a nurse or whatever. But you are wearing uh, a uniform when you're in the trades. So perhaps for some of you guys, like you are going to be in some sort of trade. Okay. Trades come in many forms. Like maybe you need to be resourceful about, um, cause it's a page learning phase of taking on a new challenge. So in some direction, maybe job wise, you, you would be in a job, uh, where a uniform would be, um, worn perhaps. So again, you, it could be baking a chef. Okay. 
um, I guess even an artist, because artists wear, uh, uh, what do you call that? Those smock things, or that's probably not even it, uh, but they wear like an apron, right? Like, so they all wear that usually, right? Uh, painters, right? Like, um, Some of you may be need to go back to school. Um, there's a lot of, because it says I'm resourceful on the page with the queen. So there's a lot of programs uh, out there supported by the government to get you into, um, that they will pay for your education and they will teach you and uh, give you everything you need to get into that trade. I keep saying trade because um, there's, a, there's a large gap in certain industries uh, because at least in my generation, I'm um, 34, uh, we were all pushed into computers. I didn't go into computers, though. Uh, but my generation and below them were pushed into computers. It was when it was first starting, and everybody was like, that's the way of the future. You know what I mean? I feel really old. <laughs> However, there's that 35-year uh, gap there of um, the retirees from the trades happening and nobody to fill that void. So the government offers programs uh, and will pay for you to get into those programs uh, to fill the void. All right. They usually pay pretty good too. Uh, that is how I got into sheet metal. It was through a program that the government sponsored when I was going back to school uh, to upgrade my, um, I was going to night school to upgrade my um, high school because I was considering like being a nurse or something like that. Or, uh, but I needed to upgrade some of my high school courses. Um, and then I just, I, somebody came in and I came across it and the government sponsored, uh, me to go into the trades and, you know, uh, I was baking back then too. I had two jobs when I was going to school, uh, I, but I did have to sacrifice, uh, those jobs, move back in with my parents, um, in order for me to go to school, uh, to get into that, to do the education. So, I mean, there was sacrifice involved. You, you got to keep that in mind, right? Because it can conflict you. You got to make decisions as a hermit, what's best for you, right? And you got to humble yourself. You know, in that scenario for myself, I had to ask my uh, parents if it was okay if I moved back in with them, right? If I could quit my job uh, to, to get an education, you know? For my mother, she was not so happy that her little her little girl was going to be in the trades with a bunch of men. My, my father... To him, I was the son he never had. <laughs> he was proud. My mom, though, not so happy. Uh, but at the end of the day, I did what was best for me, right? And my parents, both of them supported me in that, right? So you have you have people that will support you. You, you do have to be humble about it, though. And, and you may need a helping hand. You may need to ask, right? Okay. Use your mind, though. Okay, she has foresight. She can see the future. She understands um, through struggles. Uh, you 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 never compromise. Okay, you never compromise your long term gratification for short term gratification. Okay, because if you're getting short term gratification, that's instant. That's the here and the now. You're usually sacrificing your long term so you have what you need now. So. Uh, you want to ensure that you're making the short-term sacrifices. So that means that you're not going to have instant gratification in the here and now. You may have to shop at the dollar store. You may have to, you know, when you're go going out for dinner, you know, like cause you have the um, queen of pentacles here. Okay. So she's resourceful too. Uh, so you may have to buy from the discount section, right? Instead of like uh, thinking about what do I want for dinner today and then going out and buying it, you got to look in the fridge with what you have and create your dinner from what you have. The vegetables that you know that are on their way out. Use those up. That's what you're going to make your dinner from. You know, like you got you got to get resourceful. You can't sacrifice your long term for instant gratification. So if you're making sacrifices, you want to ensure that they're short term. Okay, It's not going to be so pleasant in the here and the now, but your future is going to be, it's going to be worth it. You'll see it. Okay. So what you need to show is I am humble, the hermit, and then you have the four pentacles. It's misery, right? But you can see here, there's stars on this side. And then there's these skulls here and pentacles and, you know, like it's a buildup here. So you need to show that you've left everything behind and that your hope, you have a bright future. 
you can't be like everybody else. Okay, my mother didn't want me in the trades. Okay, but it wasn't her decision. It was my decision. She supported it regardless. You know, I mean, she did voice her, her opinion. She is an Aries. <laughs> All right, but uh, you got to do what's best for you. A shine, a, a star shines because it's an individual. It's on its own. It's shining on its own. All right, but at the same time, you need to be humble. You need support. Okay, you may have to call up your mom or your dad and ask to move back in. Okay, they, they'll, they love you. They'll let you. Maybe you have a sister or brother that can help you out, right? Maybe you have to get a roommate in order for you to go back to school, cut your costs down. Like, that's fine. That's what you have to do. For the here and now, it's not going to always be like that, okay? The Hermit, it, it, it's a Virgo card. Uh, I always get Shaman with Virgos. Like with the Hermit card, it comes across as a Shaman to me. Okay. Uh, also, it's like Buddha, you know, like... Um, so, if you've studied the Buddhist, like the Buddhists... Um, one of the things that they weren't allowed to do is they weren't allowed to beg for a week's worth of food. Right. If they would beg you, like they they could ask for the here and the now what they needed, so they could be given a meal uh, for lunch. But they weren't allowed to get a meal for dinner. They weren't allowed to go too far ahead. It was just the, the the here and the now. So um, in return, they would give a lecture or a speech or or something. Um, but they weren't allowed to ask for the next meal. Okay. Like I don't know why I just said that or what that has to do with it, but it's like the here and the now is 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 the um, because Buddhists give up everything material, materialistic, uh, to get something else in return. And that's the spirituality aspect, right? To get knowledge and wisdom. Um, it's also the, the, what is it? The hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil, right? I don't know if you guys ever seen that movie with, uh, shoot, what's his name? It's called hear no evil, see no e evil. It's a real old movie. I think it was done in the seventies or something like that. It, it's a, it's a good movie. I'd recommend watching it. Um, you you got to do that with yourself too, positive attitude, right? Like you can't talk negative to yourself. You can't say negative things. Maybe you want to say something negative to somebody, but you got to hold back a little bit, right? It's like the hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil, all right? Like um, you're on this place on, on earth. Now you get to choose whether this is heaven or hell. It's both, all right? Now you choose which one you're going to live, okay? You see a lot of darkness out there, but there's also a lot of goodness. It's what you're seeing though. Right? You're, if you're choosing to see just darkness, like all the bad, you're turning your, your a blind eye to the good things out there. But if you're choosing to see that there's good in the world, then that's different, right? Like it's free will. You have the choice, right? Like you're choosing your future, okay? What you need to know is I am beautiful or grow, sorry, is I am beautiful. The queen of pentacles and then the Knight of Wands. Okay, so when people see the Knights, sorry you guys, I have a garden and uh, this bird came up and took all the peas that I planted. <laughs> so now I like, I got my eyes on them or uh, making sure they're not coming back or, but with the Knights, we all need to be knocked down to a Knight phase. Okay, that with the Queen and the King, um, they're in what you see them sitting on a chair on the throne, right? They're in a specific spot. They're not moving. People come to them. Okay. But the, the, what's being asked of you, what you need to grow is taking action. You're being knocked to a night phase. Okay. And the Knight of wands is, um, places go people to see things to do. All right. Experiences to be had wisdom to gain, right? He's got knowledge, but he's got to go get the wisdom. Knowledge and wisdom are separate where, uh, there's action that needs to be taken. There's people he's got to go talk to. Right, like, but he's got to do it, or she's got to do it. Nobody else is going to do it for them. It comes down to the individual. So the energy you're being given is it's coming down to you as an individual to make the changes necessary uh, to become the queen of pentacles. This is what you need to grow. So this is also talking about health too, right? Um, this is like not going out for dinners because she's the queen that will um, invite people over to have dinner, and she's making it, or she'll invite them over for tea and coffee right? Or invite them out for a hike, right? The queen of wands is more, um, invite them out to go out and have dinner at a restaurant. Okay. So you're being asked to take on the more homey aspect, like, 
if you want to have fun to invite people over to your house, have a potluck dinner. Uh, you need to be creative. Okay. With your girlfriends, there was, um, I remember seeing this thing once or a few times of these get togethers instead, like kind of like a book club, right? But instead what they would do is they would go through all of their old clothes uh, and they would gather up what they want to get rid of. And then they would have like a little girls party uh, where they all brought the clothes that they wanted to get rid of and they would exchange them, right? All the girlfriends would exchange them with each other, right? Because they have other girls had stuff that they liked. You could do it like that, you know, like there's humble ways of having fun, right? But with the Queen of Pentacles too in the Knight of Wands, I could be saying that you need to take actions to get healthier, uh, like physical activities, that type of thing. But the basis of what you're getting though is that nothing is going to just be done. It has to be done by you, your decisions. Once you've decided and thought things uh, um, thoroughly through uh, with the Queen of um, Swords, uh, it's not that she's not emotional. She understands emotions, right? This is the woman that will understand why somebody's throwing a hissy fit. Right? Because they didn't get what they wanted or why somebody's getting angry because they don't know how to properly express their emotions. So she's not um, non-emotional. She is emotional. She just understands the emotions. So she's not going to act in an emotional way. It's like, um, it's like fear. Fear is only there because it's the unknown. If you understand, if you understand something, you don't fear it, right? You fear things because you don't understand it. Once you understand it, then there's no need for the fear. Right. So she's a woman who's not emotional because she understands it. She doesn't need to be emotional if she understands it. Does that make sense? So you have this conflict going on in you that you need to understand something in order to remove the conflict. But you have to have a clear mind of it. You got to have trust uh, in, in life, in the universe. All right. Uh, where am I going here? I'm trying to get the I got little wisdom cards. I'm going to pull one of those. OK. Mm -hmm. So worrying is not going to achieve anything for you guys. Uh, you need to know that. And uh, with the Wheel of Fortune sitting there, you have disappointments that's underneath it. Disappointments are always going to occur. The Wheel of Fortune uh, is associated with Jupiter, yes. <clears throat> that's expansion and growth. However, the Wheel of Fortune uh, are, is a card that's associated with the fixed signs. You being one of them. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. Okay, so there's fixed lessons that have to happen in life. Uh, there's... You know, no up without down, no down without up. There's no good without bad, no bad without good. You know, there's no happy without sad, no sad without happy. Okay, life's full of irony. You need both of them to be balanced, right? You don't learn what you want without knowing what you don't want, right? So um, once you've come to these terms, right, uh, you can move forward. Don't, um, don't turn a blind eye, uh, uh, to your needs and your wants. You do have to sit down and have a conversation with yourself, okay? You do need alone time. That means if you're working a lot, you may need to take, um, you might need to put, set, like, set some rules down for yourself. So that means, like, if you're doing overtime, your overtime is only done from Monday to Friday. Your Saturday and Sunday is free. To, that way you can spend that time with your friends and your family uh, or dedicate a, a day to yourself, okay? Instead of doing overtime all week and Saturday, you want to restrict it, okay? You do want to be scheduled, more organized. You might need to work on your health, grounding yourself. So it's like you could grow your own vegetables, you know, instead of buying them. You don't need a fancy car. You need a car that gets you from A to B, right? Because you need to conserve your finances. You want to make proper investments. You don't want to invest in something that's going to just depreciate in value the second you drive it off the lot, right? You're not going to gain anything back from that. So you want to you want to be intelligent and and um, put your resources, okay, uh, where it's going to have its most value. You are going to be victorious, though, all right? The Knight of Cups is a great friend, awesome listener. They give the best hugs, you guys. They feel what you feel. They're there to support you, okay? But maybe you do need a, a dancing night. Some of you girls, some of you guys even. Music, okay, that can help you. When you're feeling down, you want to put some positive, optimistic uh, music on. 
maybe the music you're listening to is influencing uh, um, you on a day-to-day -day basis. So you, you want to be aware of that. You don't seem to have a card that wants to fly out. But the energy you need to take on is the Knight of Wands. So that means you need to go out there and find the right people. Um, find the right resources. Do the, the research. Have the experience. You, you kind of need to fall on your butt and then get back up. Okay, the Knight of Wands is not looking for approval from anybody. Uh, and when somebody tells them no, and they will keep pushing forward. They don't listen to other people. They're looking for their yes, right? They're optimistic, right? If you can think it, then you can dream it. You you can do it, you know? like You have an idea. You need to go for it, okay? You got a cat that came out. It's a cute little kitty. It says, visioning. What does this cat see? Could she be catching a vision? You can too when you ask Source how it sees itself as you. Affirm that when you asked, Source must answer. Write out your most pressing questions. Create follow-up queries for further clarity, like what does it feel like? Sit quietly and receive... Write down your impressions. They may be in the form of words, images, or feelings. Give thanks and review your notes. So maybe you need to write things out. Uh, so that would mean like if you have an idea, then you want to do a web thought bubble, you know, like your ideas in the center and you web it out. Okay. Uh, you write the, the, the things you will need or what you have to do or, you know, like step by step, you just write it out. And then you you focus on one task at a time, just the here and the now, one thing. That's it. All you got to do is one thing, right? You do, if you if you're looking at it as an overall, you you may get overwhelmed. Like I need to do all of this, right? So just focus on the next step. Do that one, and then focus on the next thing, one at a time, step by step. Okay. All right, you guys. Hopefully this helped you out. Uh, do take care of yourselves. If you need that alone time, get that alone time. You need that bubble bath, take the bubble bath. Do some outdoor activities like um, beach days, maybe hiking uh, with friends and family. Uh, but if you need alone time, take it. All right. If you're conflicted about something, try to use both the heart and the mind. Uh, don't allow people to manip manipulate you. Uh, you will see through that by their actions. Right. So, you know, again, keep in mind, somebody can act like they, they don't care um, by saying it, but their actions will prove otherwise. So don't be fooled. Okay. <sighs> Letting go of some things may, may, um, be hard for you, but it's necessary right, to progress forward. All right, you guys, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, namaste. And I will talk to you next month. Ciao for now.